So again, a morning of controversy. They wanted banner headlines about 25 billion pounds worth of spending. Instead, what we have is controversy over incidences, allegations from 20 years ago. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, talking of banners, Manners, there are banners hanging from the ceiling here in the exhibition hall in Manchester that say, get Brexit done, invest in the NHS, invest in the police. These are the messages uh, that the uh, Conservative Party want us to be talking about. Or Sajid Javid, the Chancellor, committing £25 billion, pounds, $30 billion to road and bus strategies, to infrastructure spending. That's what they want the focus to be on. Instead, it's on the controversy, of course, the extent of the relationship between Boris Johnson and the American entrepreneur who has received money whilst Boris Johnson was mayor of London. He says he has nothing to uh, to reveal there. Uh, he denies historical allegations that he assaulted a female journalist. All of this news just swirling around in the last 24 hours or so. So all of that is overshadowing the, uh, the, the, the other news agenda here. But the focus does remain on Brexit. And this is here in Manchester this week. But of course, remember, it's also down in Westminster, because whilst normally Parliament would rise and wouldn't be sitting for a party conference, uh, things haven't turned out that way this time. And we know that the other parties are still meeting down in Westminster. Big focus on those other parties, the Rebel Alliance, those MPs who would have been here, members of the Conservative Party some months ago, who are now staying down in Westminster to talk to other opposition parties. We know they're going to all be meeting at one o'clock this afternoon. A focus on what they want to do, what they will do. Will they try and impeach the Prime Minister? That's what one of the Welsh parties has talked about on the fringes. Uh, will they try to bring a vote of no confidence? The SNP in Scotland has talked about that at the end of last week. So a lot of focus on Westminster whilst things kick off here in Manchester. Yeah, and of course the SNP leader there, Ms Sturgeon, is almost suggesting put Corbyn in as a caretaker government. It's, it's almost as if the opposition are chi oh, sorry, Boris is chiding the opposition into calling this vote of no confidence quicker than they want. Anna, look, you followed this inch by inch, move by move. Are we any closer to a Brexit deal? <laughs> you ask all the tough questions, Manners. I mean, we've heard a lot about uh, on, on both sides of this, haven't we? Uh, the EU does seem to think, the latest reporting from Ian Wishart and our colleagues in Brussels, the EU does seem to think uh, that Boris Johnson does want a deal. And certainly he said yesterday he's cautiously optimistic. Uh, Stephen Barclay, the Brexit secretary, writing in the papers at the weekend, said that there will be details forthcoming from the government about the Irish border. Remember, that's the backstop and that goes back uh, months, uh, the, all the controversy over that. He said that there will be details details on that coming after the conference. Well, what will those details be? The DUP leadership, remember, in partnership with the, with the Conservative Party and government here, uh, they have been saying, you know, they don't want any, any uh, they don't want to be staying in the EU in any sense, other than the agricultural movement, which we've seen over recent years, they want to, in recent weeks rather, they want to be leaving on the same terms as the rest of Britain. So uh, we'll be interested to see any detail there. There was a lot of talk, tough talk on the stage still, Manus, yesterday about, you know, if a deal isn't going to happen, then we still need to leave at the end of October. We certainly heard from Michael Gove, who's in charge of no deal preparations on that front. But as the banners all over this building say, get Brexit done, that is the message. It doesn't have the date on, but that is clearly the message that the Tory party is trying to hammer home this week.